Hey, what's up everybody? Tony LeBlanc here from The Doorpreneur. So I wanted to put together a quick video on five or six of the top automations that we use within Monday.com. So I want to have, I don't want this just to be related uh, or about Monday.com. So I want to keep the topics fairly general. So these are like five or six automations that I think that every property should every property manager should have regardless of the technology that they have running in the background. It just so happens that we're, we're huge adopters of, of monday.com and huge fans of it, but I think this is going to be applicable for anybody that's using any type of tool out there. So the first one or the first topic that I want to kind of discuss is this topic of notifying people when certain things happen. Three things in particular really come to mind here, and this might expose you to and to being able to put together some different things from for your management company and your clients. So, um, deposits, applications, and notices. These are like three things that almost everybody in our team likes to know when they come in. So, I've got multiple leasing agents working out in the field and. Whenever a deposit comes in for a unit, they want to know. My office manager needs to know. I like to know because that then I know in the back of my head, okay, okay, that, that unit is getting rented or we're pretty close to locking up that deal. Um, applications, that's a huge one for me personally as the management company owner. I love to know when new applications come in. My office manager needs to know. The agents involved in the leasing component want to know also what's going on. So again, there's like this, this, this broadcast that needs to be put out there to let these people know. Um, and notices to vacate. Uh, that's, that's a huge one for our office. So every month we get, you know, tons of turnovers. We had close to 75 last month. I'm expecting around the same thing this month. So being on top and being aware of what notices are coming in and where they're coming from is super, super important for me. So how do you how do you create a technology uh, based solution so that you can have easily handle these inquiries or these notices or these applications or these deposits coming into your company and then how do you then automatically broadcast to everybody that these things have come in so the solution that we put together is I think super simple so that all starts with email. So everything comes in through emails. Our deposits, they come in through e-transfers. So an email comes into a certain email address with a deposit information. Now, somebody has to physically go in the system and make the deposit into the bank account. However, once the email comes in, I can then have another piece of software that kind of looks for that information or looks for emails and then I can do something with it intelligently. So for us, what we do is we use a tool called automate.io that scans certain folders within my email setup. So I have a notices folder that all my tenants send a notice to notice at groundfloorpm.com to give their notice. So I have a what I call a bot that watches that folder and anytime an email comes into that folder, it picks it up and then it grabs the information from the email and then sends a Slack message to a specific channel that I've set up. So if all this sounds super complex, it's not. It's, it's, it's like five minutes of setting up and it's completely free. So in my email, so I'm not gonna go into the email, but I'll show you on the Slack side here. So this is our Slack setup and I have a, a channel called Leasing. So you can see here these different bots that come in. So new notice alert, and it gives the name, new notice alert, deposit received from, and it, it, it gives us a name so that we can check. So, and this leasing channel, I have multiple people that are subscribed to it. So whenever any one of these things come in, a notice, a new application, or a deposit, it gets broadcasted to the entire team completely 100% automatic. I don't have to touch anything. And I can't tell you enough how that how helpful that has been for our entire team 
just so that everybody can have, you know, eyes and ears in terms of what's going on at all times. So very simple solution. It involves a Gmail account. Um, Automate.io is free for up to five bots within that environment. So um, I can you can ask me more questions about that if you have them. Um, and Slack, it's 100% free. It's just a matter of setting it up, setting the different the different channels, setting the integration, and putting that all together. Super super simple. Um, I would even go out as far as saying if you want some help setting that up. Just put some comments in the bottom of this video. Um, I could literally set up a Zoom call and probably help you bang that out in a few minutes. It's that easy. So that's automation number one. Uh, it's kind of a group of things, but anyways, that's number one. Um, the second thing is application autoresponders. Um, autoresponders is kind of one of those things where you can go, you can go very much in depth and have autoresponders in a in a bunch of different areas, but. I want to specifically cater to applications because there's a lot of different stages in the application process with most management companies. So an application will start off as a new app, and then the next step for us is in progress. And then it's either approved, rejected, or canceled. Um, so there's different stages there to where if you want, you can involve and add additional communication with your tenants or to your tenants. So here, this is our monday.com install, and I'm going to go into our application table here. And you're going to quickly see that we've got a bunch of different stages that we have all of our applications. So one of the beautiful things about Monday is, is the ex extensibility in doing and setting up automations like in seconds. And I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do that and how easy it is within this environment. Again, this is specific to Monday. So Let's say um, I want to add uh, an automation for new applicants that are coming in. So um, we'll just go into the integration section here for Monday. I'm going to click that. I'm going to choose the Gmail integration. Um, so what I want to do is when a status changes to something, I want to send an email to somebody. So I'm going to pick that one. And then I'm going to choose my management email account, which I've already got pre-set up in here, which took me literally a second to do. So I'm going to say when the status changes to new, I'm going to send an email to the email column which is built inside of my Monday board. So it's literally just pick, letting me pick the different column values. So I've set it up under email. So in the email, this is exactly where you would go to write the email that you want to send to your tenant. So uh, I'm going to give it a subject line of new application. Uh, let's start by saying maybe. Thank you. And then I'm going to go, I've got one already written out here. Actually, this is a, this is a congratulation one, but whatever. I'm going to use that just to show you an example. So literally, I would say um, I'm going to use their first name. So here, these are all placeholders for all of the information that's pre-populated within the Monday environment that I have. So I've already got their name tucked away somewhere so I can use it in what we call these little placeholders or tokens. So I'm going to say first name and then I'm going to paste uh, my email that I had written out. Um, format it a little bit. And that's it. So I've got my email written. I can add a bunch of other information. This, you can go to you know whatever information that you have stored inside of your board. You can use within the email, which is really cool. Um, so literally, I'm done. So add to board. So as easy as that, I now have an autoresponder that will get sent to the email of the tenant as soon as it comes in as a new application. Great, right? Um, another one that I would probably do is for um, approvals. So again, you just kind of repeat the process, right? So we're going to pick the same ones. Um, now we're going to say when the status changes to approved, oops, not no, approved, send an email to email and application approval. Uh, 
location and then put that in there. Can type today. And congratulations, you've been approved, blah, blah, blah. Add to board and done. So now, whenever a new application goes from new to approved, once again, another email is going to be sent to the tenant. Now, this is where you can get a little bit more creative. So I want you guys to think along the lines of what information can I convey to a tenant through these different stages of the application process? So from new to in progress, maybe you could send an email that says, hey, you know, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, you know, one of my agents were now working on your applications. Uh, I may be in touch with you within the next 24 hours to get more information should it have not been provided in your application. So you're kind of giving them a heads up um, that you may be reaching out to them. Um, maybe um, you could create another status that is called stuck and you can set up an automation that says, hey, you know, we received your application. We appreciate that, but we're missing a bunch of information. Can you please get in touch with us right away? So instead of having your admins or yourself or whoever constantly writing up these emails all the time, you could have it prepackaged and then all you got to do is change the status of, you know, it's one click of a button and the email gets sent out and then hopefully on the other end, they're responding right back to you. Um, the really cool thing about email integrations within Monday is the email actually gets sent from your email address. So if you go in your inbox or in your sent items, you're actually going to see the email that was sent. Um, and they, when they reply, it goes, it stays within your email infrastructure. It doesn't come back into Monday. So you can keep it in your, you know, managing it, all of your emails in your email environment. So this, this has really been super helpful for us to be able to not only be able to convey different things at different times, but we look at it from a customer service perspective, right? So when a tenant is applying for an apartment for us, I want to be able to create the best experience I can for them. So letting them know that we have the application, that's a great touch point. Letting them know that we're working on the application, again, another positive touch point. Once they're approved, hey, that's, you know, that's, that's a time to congratulate them. It's like, yes, you're approved. Uh, we're excited to get you into our family and to move you into our apartments. Um, and just it kind of builds that momentum of being, you know, a great landlord from day one. You know, you've got all your things in check and you kind of, you know, obviously you know what you're doing because you've got all these systems pre-made for them. So it's been, uh, it's been really wonderful for us for. So I hope that's a value to you guys. Um, the last one that I want to talk about is reviews. So there's, there's a lot of different software solutions out there that provide capabilities and systems to get reviews out of your tenants, your owners, your prospects, or whoever. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to automate some of that stuff, again, within Monday um, on a few different areas. So where we've applied them is maintenance and for tenant exit interviews. So whenever we get a notice and we've approved it, we have an automation that gets sent out to the tenant saying, or no, when they move out, sorry, when they moved out, we have a status and an automation that gets sent out to, to get them to fill out an, uh, a review for us to say how we did, how they enjoyed living with us. Is there anything that we could approve on um, for you know further experiences with other tenants? But what I'm going to show you guys is the one that we set up for our maintenance environment. So if I go into maintenance here, um, so we have, this is what we call our maintenance and progress board. So I run my entire maintenance department all within this framework in Monday. It's killer. Um, and we hear email pulses. So these are new entries, um, work in progress, and then we have completed items. So I've set up a, an automation that when a work order is completed, um, here, I'll be able to pull it up here and show you guys. Um, when status is complete, send an email to the tenant. And I'm going to read this out to you guys. So we see that our maintenance technicians recently finished a work order for you. We would love some feedback as to how we did. Please find the link below with a few quick questions. So then this sends them to a Monday form. 
So forums within Monday are basically a list of questions that you can ask and have people fill in. And we've been using, using this a lot for review style stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what the, so they get sent that link. And that's actually a different board within the Monday environment. So as you guys can see here, we got a lot of happy ones. We got some room for employment and I got one unhappy. So we'll deal with that. So if I go in here and I'm going to show you guys the feedback form. So I've basically built this form basically on the different columns with Monday so I can preview it. And this is exactly what gets sent to the tenant. So it asks them for their first name, their address, their email. And then I ask them a few questions and they just got to, you know, basically fill in the stars, how we do, all that good stuff. And then they can put general feedback and then they click submit. So when they submit that, it comes into this board and it gets classified in the proper environment. So I have, again, a bunch of automations that say, okay, if the sentiment that they put in was happy, it gets put into the happy group. If it's room for improvement, it goes in that group. And if it's unhappy, it goes in another group. And we've added some other um, automations that basically say, if they're happy, um, I send it out to the entire team. So great news. You always want to be able to share that with everybody. So um, this is a place where we do it. Um, if they're unhappy, I have a message that goes to my ops manager so that he can take care of that, right? We, don't, we want to make sure that we address any of those issues. So a couple different things that we kind of touched here. So forms, again, that's, that's really specific to Monday. Um, if you don't use Monday, you know, we, we should have a conversation because you're probably missing out on something. Um, but anyways, Monday has a form that you can automate that whole process and reviews. I consider reviews as something that a property management company should have automated. It's got to be on autopilot because if it's not, it's not going to get done. I know because I ran my company for long enough to know that if I didn't have it automated somewhere in the background, we never have time to ask for feedback. It's just it's just one of those things that, yeah, the, you know, the odd time you're going to get some great feedback and you're going to be able to package that up and do, and do something with it. But with this, again, it literally maybe took me a couple hours to set up all the different forms and set up the automations and stuff. But this being, you know, that was time very well spent because it's now, it's, it's something that I never have to touch. So strongly, strongly urge you guys to take a look at that though. So those are my top five or six automations that I think every property manager sh should have within their environment in a technology-based solution. If it's not Monday, there's, there's other tools that you can use, but I'm pretty sure that none will be as good as Monday. Um, but uh, anyways, I strongly urge you guys to kind of take a look at that. So um, if you got anything to share, put some comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found some value from this. And until next time, have a great day.